all right guys uh, welcome everyone welcome back to another video so today we're going to talk about how you're going to use microsoft graph api uh, with sharepoint sites dot selected application permission and azure ad application for more granular control so as per this announcement that you can see on the screen uh, made on february 2021 microsoft graph now provides option to have granular permission level using sites.selected application permission for the Azure AD application instead of granting the permission for all the sites in the tenant. So what used to happen earlier is uh, when uh, authenticating through client credential flow that is without having the user to sign in. So the application, the Azure AD app, right? Uh, it was able to read all the sites sharepoint sites which are present in the tenant so this was a kind of huge security risk or lapse i would say uh, that uh, for certain use cases where uh, the admin do not want the app to uh, have access to all the sharepoint site in the tenant but could only restrict to restrict that app to only a specific sharepoint site so in to introduce this particular feature uh, to restrict the application on azure ad to only to a specific sharepoint site we can use sites dot selected permission all right so today we're going to talk about how we can uh, go ahead and configure this on azure ad for microsoft graph all right let's get started so before moving on to the video the first prerequisite that we need is uh, of course uh, registering the app on azure ad so i have already done that to save some time but if you need uh, help on registering an application on azure ad i already have one video on my channel you can check that out okay moving forward i have also uh, noted two sharepoint site ids site a and site b i have uh, configured my postman uh, to get the access token and uh, right now i am uh, trying to query sharepoint site a and sharepoint site b so both of them is giving me access denied error right now yeah you can see clearly it's giving me 403 forbidden so right now my application doesn't have permission to access those sites so these sites are present in my tenant uh if i come to the permission section i already have sites dot selected permission this is the application type of permission okay so now that we have everything I'll be going ahead into my graph explorer and using the permission API uh, using the permission API to grant this permission grant this app the site dot selected app the permission to read this particular SharePoint site so I'll be doing a post so if you need a documentation related to this I have already uh, opened this document uh, I'll be pasting this link to this document in the chat so all you have to do is uh, you need to be an admin okay uh, first of all yeah so you'll need to be an admin of the tenant uh, in order to do this okay and uh, when it comes to permission you need sites dot full control permission in order to do this okay let me try to do a get call okay so here it says so if I show you the entire query, so this is SharePoint site and we need to remove this. That was the permission ID. Okay, so this is the whole query that we would be using. Okay, so permission. This is the API that we need. I'll be pasting the link to this documentation in the chat. If I do a get call right now, uh, I don't have any permission assigned. Okay, so going going by the request body, I'll be changing this to post. Okay, and roles I'm gonna give is write, but you can also give the read role. Uh, okay, and then uh, for the application ID, right? Uh, you have to give the ID of your app. So I'll go ahead and copy the client ID and paste it over here. Okay, so 
this basically what we are doing is uh, this SharePoint site, we are allowing this particular app ID to have access to this particular SharePoint site. All right, so I think we have everything in place. We're going to assign a right role. I'm going to click on run query. And there you go. The roles have been assigned. Now what I'll do is I'll just copy this. Uh, SharePoint site. And try to make the same call that we were doing earlier using the. Postman app. OK, site slash site ID. So there you go. It gave me 200. OK, now. Now remember we have given permission only for the site A, but uh, we have not given it for site B. So ideally it should give us 403 on site B. So this is the URL of site B. And if I click on send, it gives me 403. So that tells you that that this particular app has been restricted to a specific SharePoint site. All right. That's all for today, guys. Uh, if you have questions, uh, please do let me know in the comment section below. And uh, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.